<laughs> She's so cute. Hi guys, so I thought I would do a tag video today for you. Um, I haven't done a parenting tag one before, so this is quite new to me. I do apologise for the absolute mess that I am today. We're having a pyjama day, so I literally have just shoved my hair back, pyjamas on, no makeup. Uh, yeah, so I just look a mess. We look a mess, don't we? You don't look a mess. You look beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, how many children do you have and how old are they? I have two living children and two angel babies. An angel baby is a baby that was sadly uh, miscarried, stillborn or anything like that. I have had two miscarriages, one in 2012 and one in 2016. Um, my two living children are Sam, who is 14 years old, that makes me sound so old, and Amelia Lily, down here, you, and she's 18 months old now. What are your proudest and most frustrating moments as a parent? <laughs> <sighs> um, my proudest moment with her is, oh gosh. <laughs> Probably, God, I don't know, it's so hard. There's so many things that just make me proud of it every single day. Um, but I think maybe when she learns new words or something like that, or she learns to do something new, that just makes me go, oh, my baby's growing up. Um, or like when we're out and about and I get people coming up saying oh she's such a lovely happy baby you're doing really well with her blah 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 stuff like that just makes me feel really proud most frustrating time as a parent um is probably either bedtimes when she, when she's really really playing up and she just won't sleep or meal times because she's really bad at the moment for meal times she just won't <laughs> eat she just chucks it on the floor what are you doing <laughs> hello She's really bad for meal times at the moment. She just throws it all over the floor and it's so frustrating. Mwah. Yay! Apparently we're having kisses today. Are you cutie? <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you discipline your children? She's only 18 months old, so she doesn't really get much discipline yeah. at the moment because she's still only a baby. She's still only learning. <laughs> this could take a while. <laughs> yeah, she's still yeah. only learning, so she doesn't get that much discipline because, you know, I don't want to be shouting at her because she doesn't really know what she's doing wrong when she's doing something wrong. Um, but, you know, you're going to flash mummy's boobs in a minute. <laughs> Every video. <laughs> I don't really believe in smacking children. Um, I just think it teaches them that, you know, if you're not getting your own way or things are not going your way, that smacking and violence is the answer and it's really not so I don't believe in doing that as a form of discipline so yeah I just like raise my voice a little bit so she knows that I'm not happy and just say no we don't do that that's naughty I apologize for my child she's disgusted <laughs> you're spitting everywhere do you call sleep no um when she was born, I was terrified of... Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> when she was born, I was terrified of cot death and stuff like that. So I would not go sleep. Um, I'm really sorry, I don't know why the camera's, camera keeps going out of focus. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I was terrified of cot death and stuff like that, so I wouldn't go sleep. And I didn't want to get her into a routine where she could 
she thought she could just come into my bed and I would never get any sleep at all. She's always slept in her own cot. Um, in the mornings when she wakes up, she does come into my bed and we'll have a bit of a cuddle and she'll watch a bit of YouTube and stuff on my phone, but we don't co-sleep, no. What is your one must-have piece of baby equipment? I really don't know how to answer that. That's a really good question because there's so many things that are really, really, like, I think they're really essential, but at different stages. Um, right now, I am going to say teething granules because she is having a nightmare at the moment with her teeth. She's got some more teeth coming through and teething granules are the only thing that take the pain away for her. I've tried the teething gel. I've tried the Ambersol liquid stuff. But the only thing that works is the teething granules. I think they are Nelson's. I think they're called Nelson's yeah. Teether Teething Granules. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Can I have a drink? Yeah. Oh, I'll get another one. Thank you. You have a drink. So, yeah, at the moment it would be teething granules for sure. Name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never ended up using. Um, I don't know if there's anything that I never ever used, um, but she had like a bouncy chair, like a little bouncy chair that I bought um, right at the beginning of my pregnancy and she only used it maybe twice, three times. She just never went in it at all. Have you always wanted kids? and how many more do you plan on? Bye, Bye. we've not finished. <laughs> have you always wanted kids and how many more do you plan on having? I have always wanted children. I've always been like a really maternal kind of person. I've always just loved children and I couldn't wait to have my own. I can't really say how many more I plan on having because I always said that I wanted a big family but I never thought that there would be such a big gap between my first and my second. And obviously I'm single now, so kind of can't have any more at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I would like more, definitely. I'd definitely like another two, but whether that will happen or not, who knows, we'll have to see. Do you think your relationship with your spouse has changed since you had children, better or worse? Obviously, as I've just said, I'm single now. I'm not with Amelia's dad anymore. Um, but I definitely think that we get on better now that we're not together. Um, that was like why we split up really. After I had Amelia we just didn't get on anymore. We were just constantly arguing and it wasn't good to, um, to be like that around Amelia. And now that we've split up we just get on so much better. I mean we can go out and do things as friends and stuff. He's always, come, he's always around at my house to see Amelia. He'll do favours and stuff for me, like he built a fence out, of my back, out in my backyard a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, we go out, we do stuff with Amelia, we go out and do stuff without Amelia, like we go out to bingo and stuff like that together. So yeah, I think we get on a lot better now that we're not together and I think it's a better relationship, which is better for Amelia, because she doesn't have to listen to us arguing and fighting and yeah, so I think we get on better now. Date night, how many nights or days per month? Chance would be a fine thing. I cannot remember the last time I had a date. Um, nobody wants me. And obviously when I do have somebody that wants to take me out on a date, I can't just up and go. I've got to get my mum or somebody to watch Amelia because I'm not going to be carting Amelia off on first dates because that just wouldn't be good. Um, so yeah, date night at the moment. Never. If there's any offers, let me know in the comments. How is your relationship with friends since having a child? Not great. Um, after I had my first child, um, I was only really young. I was only 16 when I had Sam. So all my friends kind of pretty much deserted me because they were all wanting to go out and I couldn't because I had Sam, which was fine because I would much rather have stayed in with Sam anyway. I've never been one to be going out, getting drunk and and stuff like that honestly i would much rather sit in with a pizza and a film i have a lot of people who i chat to on social media and stuff 
Um, but I wouldn't say I have very many friends that I go out with. Like when I go out, it's me and Amelia. How many cars does your family have? None. <laughs> Our transport is the bus or the train or the tram. I do not drive and to be honest, I don't think I ever will drive because I am terrified. It would be so much easier if I could drive because I could take her out to places that were a bit further out and I, that would mean also that I could get better videos for you guys. But I mean, it's not just me that I have to worry about on the road, it's other people and you do get some real idiots on the roads these days and I just don't think I'd cope. So I'm more than happy to let other people do the driving. <laughs> Dream vacation with your kids and one without. Ugh. Honestly, I think that they would both be the same place and it's Disneyland. I would love to take her to Disneyland because she's as mad on Disney as I am and I'd just love to see her face when she saw all the characters and I just want to experience that with her. But I think I'd also, I've always wanted to go to Disneyland and I've never, be, I've never been able to go. And I'd love to be able to experience it without having to constantly be worrying about, oh, the baby needs changing, oh, she's hungry, oh, she's tired, we need to go and like have a rest, have a break. You know, I'd want to be able to do it all without having to worry about her, which, oh, it sounds horrible saying it, but yeah, I've never been able to experience it for myself, and although I want to experience it with her as well, I would also like that experience just on my own. So yeah, I'm going to say the same place, Disneyland. And I'm not fussy. Paris or Florida will do. Um, obviously, I would prefer Florida, but I'm happy with Paris, so if anybody would like to take me, again, let me know in the comments. Wishful thinking. Where do you shop for your kids? Uh, I think, I'm, I'm presuming it means clothes wise. I don't really have a go to shop, you know, I'll, I'll shop anywhere for her. If I see something that I like for her, I'll get it. She's got clothes from Primark, she's got clothes from Tesco's, from Asda, from Next, um, H&M. She's got clothes from little boutiques that I've found online. She's got them from charity shops. Just all sorts. You know, if I if I see something that I like and it's her size and it's not ridiculously priced, then yeah, I'll buy it. I'm not really, I'm not loyal to one shop because so many different shops have so many lovely, lovely little girl's clothes. So yeah, I shop all over for her. Favourite mummy makeup and skincare product? I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Um, I don't really wear it on a day to day basis if I'm honest the only time I do wear makeup is when I am on stage doing a gig and even then it's not a lot it's just a little bit of foundation maybe some eyeshadow um, and something on my lips that's literally all I wear one because I am terrible at doing makeup and two because if I put too much makeup around my eyes my eyes will just pour and pour and pour for about a week after. My eyes are so sensitive. Um, and within an hour, two hours of putting makeup around my eyes, I'm literally squinting because they're really, really sore. And it's just not worth it. So I, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. So I, I can't really answer that question, to be honest. Sorry. Since becoming parents, do you notice you act more like your own mum or dad? I think I do seem to be acting a little bit more like my mum these days. I can definitely see traits of my mum in myself, like when I'm talking to Amelia and when I'm doing things as a parent, um, which is not a bad thing because my mum's awesome. I'm really close to my mum. But yeah, there's definitely been times when I've thought, wow, I'm so much like my mum. So yeah, definitely. Piercing a baby's ears, do or don't? I am absolutely 100% against piercing a baby's ears. I think it's horrible. Um, I mean, I know it's a little bit controversial and people are going to disagree with me and that's fine. You can have your own opinion. I can have mine. But personally, no, I do not agree with piercing a baby's ears. Um, I would never pierce Amelia's ears until she's old enough to understand what it involves and to make that decision for herself. I had my ears pierced when I was about, I think I was about eight or nine. 
after the initial the um the initial few months of having them done i got so bored with them and i just found wearing earrings really irritating i might i've let my ears close up now um yeah I, i've not worn earrings for absolutely years and years and years um but i just think it's so horrible to take a baby somewhere and hold them down while somebody puts a hole in their ear like it hurt me when i had mine done so i imagine like a baby having it done they've got no say in it and they're just being held down and either shot with a an a ear piercing gun or having a needle shoved through the ear it's horrible why would you do that to your own baby I don't I don't understand I've never understood I think that children should be old enough to make their own decisions I mean what if they grow up and don't want their ears pierced you know it's too late you've done that to them yeah no against it 100% don't like it and I don't think it looks nice either on little babies plus it's dangerous I mean if they catch that and it rips their ear do you know what I mean just no nope 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 bath or shower for you and your children we definitely both prefer a bath she will not use the shower she's terrified of the shower if we put the shower on she will scream the house down so bath definitely for her plus she loves to be able to splash in the bath don't you you like splashing in the bath uh she loves the bubble baths um so yeah definitely bath for her i do prefer a bath the only time i really have showers is if i'm in a rush because when i get in the bath I sit in the bath for about two, three hours. I will mess on my phone. I will read a book. I just, I lounge in the bath for hours and hours and hours. Ow, be careful, you sausage. Yum, yum, yum. What shape is that? What shape is it? It's a <coughs> circle, good girl. Yeah, so definitely a bath for both of us. We like baths, don't we? <sighs> Do we like a bath? Mm. You had a bath today, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. Is mum back to her pre-baby weight? No. <laughs> no, she's not. Definitely not. Um, if anything, I probably put weight on because I love food way too much. I am looking into joining Slimming World though. We've not finished yet, sweetie. <laughs> Say bye. I am looking into joining Slimming World though because I'm really unhappy with my weight at the moment and I know that I do need to slim down a bit but I just love food too much. College dreams. Do you expect your kids to go to college or would you let them decide for themselves? I would let her decide for herself. It's up to her what she wants to do when she's older. I went to college personally. I did a couple of different subjects at college. Um, but you know, it just depends what she wants to do when she's older. The last question is, finish this sentence. You know you're a mum when you... When you know every single word to every single children's show going. So that was the parenting tag. I've really enjoyed doing this. I might um, might look into doing some more. I'm not going to tag anybody um, because if people want to do it, then they will. I know it's called a tag, but I don't care. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this tag and you have children yourself and you'd like to do it, please do. Make sure you tag me in it because I'd love to watch it. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Um, comments are always good. I'd love to read your comments. And I will see you very soon. Say bye-bye. Oh, she's waving. Say bye. Bye. Blow kisses. Mwah. <laughs>